welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Queen Camilla spotted visiting Catherine in Adelaide Cottage, as the hard times bring them closer. After her solo engagement on Wednesday, Queen Camilla visited her daughter-in-law at Adelaide Cottage, where she was photographed. While King Charles and Princess Catherine recuperate from their surgery, Queen Camilla went on a solo engagement. The 76-year-old Queen made a formal opening at the Maggie's Royal Free Cancer Treatment Centre at London's Royal Free Medical on the morning of Wednesday. Queen Camilla stated that he's moving on and trying his greatest when pressed about King Charles's recovery. In other news, Princess Catherine's daughter-in-law is making a triumphant return to Adelaide Cottage and is doing well after her illness. She continued by wishing her daughter-in-law well and expressing her hope that she would return to her royal responsibilities soon. Following the royal family's health issue, it looks like the ladies in the royal family became closer to one another. A report claims that the closeness of the royal family has been strained due to the strain of the connection between Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine, describing it as a business relationship between the two women. According to some royal observers, Queen Consort Camilla and Princess Catherine look to be coming closer in their most recent public appearance alongside one another. This follows their positioning together during the remembrance ceremony earlier. I believe there seemed to be real tenderness connecting the two of them, and I couldn't necessarily recognize it went away until I now start to see it's becoming increasingly apparent as the weeks go by, said a royal expert of the couple's connection. I guess that's because they're bound together by adversaries, and to put it mildly, since it wasn't paying attention before that they were exchanging those nice smiles or hand signals as frequently as they tend to now. Camilla becomes the Dowager Queen, and Catherine would be the Queen Consort. Thus, both of them will be bonded by their shared destiny of becoming queens one day. They should probably develop close ties because they'll be in a professional connection, and will be making increasingly frequent appearances like this one on the balcony. Additionally, she holds Camilla in high esteem. Although Catherine and Camilla have never had a particularly strong relationship, Catherine may be able to provide emotional support and encouragement to Camilla as she ages and puts in more and more effort at her own job. However, there are more than just viewpoints in their connection. We believe these two ladies are in a great relationship. As Catherine planned her 2011 marriage ceremony, Camilla had been a wonderful resource. Camilla prevented her prospective daughter-in-law, Catherine, from committing an inappropriate fashion error only a few weeks before her wedding day. A diner who listened in on their conversation said that Catherine, hearing Camilla remark, if I might offer you a single piece of guidance, when they were having a nice lunch outside of the Barclay Hotel in Knightsbridge. A spy claims that the two Raws were out of town chatting eagerly about marriage arrangements with Pippa Middleton and Camilla's daughter, Laura. Through their conversation, the women reportedly held hands and joked in tandem, and the detective said they all seemed to be getting on very effectively, and they obviously weren't asking for an out-of-the-way table, and nor did they strive to soften their sounds. According to reports, Camilla advised Middleton that a crown of jewels would seem fitting for her royal marriage that flowers after Catherine announced her intention to wear them in her hairstyle. Princess Catherine was given a $45 signature pedicure by the soon-to-be British ruler's personal manicurist, Marina Sandoval, of the Joe Hansbury Beauty Parlor in Mayfair, shortly before taking her holy nuptials. Reportedly, Camilla additionally presented the future princess a bracelet with charms made of gold that had a little disc etched containing the royal ciphers, which are the surnames and titles of the monarch. The bracelet is said to be a replica of the one incoming monarch never removes from her wrist. It includes two big C's underneath a coronet, with Camilla's encircled by a large circle. Even when Catherine joined the royal family, Camilla continued to provide advice on what was appropriate and what was not to accomplish. What happened when Camilla befriended Catherine and then trained her to be a frontline worker? With the help of her devoted group of female companions, Camilla has ensured that she will be backed throughout her time as queen. However, her friendship with Catherine, Princess of Wales, is a different part of the royal circle, is largely responsible for her rising stardom. 
Following Camilla's romance with Charles becoming public, it began to be even more difficult for her to integrate into the household. The Queen reportedly informed her eldest son, I want nothing to do with anything with her, at a certain point. However, that altered with time. After taking Catherine under her protection, Camilla's reputation softened even more in the eyes of her mother-in-law. There's a recollection of a lunch that Camilla had arranged 30 years ago with Charles's soon-to-be bride, Diana, in the picture of her dining with Catherine, a princess-in-waiting. In addition to assisting Catherine in dealing with more challenging family members like Princess Anne, she trained her techniques like focusing on an expression of familiar reporters to assist her seem less uncomfortable in photos. Additionally, Catherine had the opportunity to speak with Camilla about her charitable work. They discussed the possibility of Catherine dedicating a concentrated effort to a certain charity for a period of between one and two years in response to particular demands. Even though the pair were going to require just the minimum of the work of a butler, housekeeper, ladies' dresser, parking attendant, chef, driver, and a number of other employees, Camilla had been there to provide a hand whenever Catherine became a chantelaine of Kensington Palace. Considering William's incompetence in that area, a family member close to them informed in a report how crucial Camilla's assistance had proven to be. Even under the most favourable of circumstances, the male members of the family of the monarch simply lack the empathy necessary to assist those who have recently arrived in assimilating into royal life, the friend said. They're simply unable to think. Their behaviour is not nasty. According to reports, Catherine has assisted in easing tensions with William and his dad, King Charles, by strengthening her friendship with Camilla. Catherine became known as the peacemaker in her husband's family because she made an honest attempt to enjoy time together with his stepmother and father. Catherine is met up with the pair alone, without William in tow, and they formed a relationship over their similar interests, which include an admiration of the arts. A royal historian claims that Prince William's role as a mediator had assisted with Camilla's connection to senior royals, especially Prince William, and strengthen over time. Camilla does not harbour grudges and is skilled at mediating conflict. They're in agreement that helping out their spouses should be their first concern. William isn't exactly enamoured with the arts, but Catherine is. She often accompanies the Queen Consort and King Charles on both official and private museum visits. Thanks for watching today's video. In your opinion, how is their relationship? As for now, we would appreciate it if you could share your ideas with us.